before proceeding, place the appropriate raw water pump into off position on the control panel. When dealing with chlorine, make sure to always wear the proper protective equipment. You can then loosen the lower house fitting with pliers and remove it from the valve. After, place a container at the deaeration outlet and loosen the deaeration valve on the back of the pump. Then, press and hold the 100% speed button and turn the knob to increase the runtime. Let it run until the pump head is completely empty of chlorine. Close the deaeration valve and loosen the upper hose fitting to remove it from the pump. Press both buttons on the front at the same time to put the diaphragm in fully out position. Unplug the pump's power cord. Remove the cover plate. Then remove the four hex bolts. Carefully remove the pump head. Remove the diaphragm by rotating it counterclockwise. Then, remove the diaphragm flange. This cavity should be dry and clear of residue. Any liquid that gets past the diaphragm will be present in this area and will escape through this port. Locate the two studs and reinstall the flange accordingly. Install a new diaphragm by threading it clockwise. With the deaeration valve pointing towards the top of the pump, reinstall the pump head. Evenly tighten the four hex bolts gradually in a star pattern as you would a car wheel. Reinstall the cover plate and reattach the hose fittings using pliers, avoiding over tightening. Plug the pump's power cord and then open the deaeration valve, putting a container underneath the outlet. Run the pump at 100% speed until chlorine starts coming out of the deaeration valve. Close the deaeration valve and place the pump back in run mode. Then place the raw water pump back into auto mode. 